Arjun, it is fascinating. We're just looking at uh, some of the moves to build a plant in Arizona by TSMC. And effectively, they're even citing there the cost of building is much higher. We can probably put that as a one-off if there's some funding from the government as well. The other point, though, is operationally, they're saying they don't necessarily have the expertise on the ground. That suggests a massive barrier to entry. Yeah, it's, it's extremely difficult. The, the cost of investment is huge, billions of dollars, and also the talent. Uh, it's all based in Taiwan when it comes to manufacturing the most advanced ships, which is really what the U.S. is after. And the U.S. policy uh, sort of falls into, into two at a two-pronged kind of attack here. Firstly, one is about trying to attract uh, chip makers like TSMC, like Samsung, to the U.S. to manufacture the most advanced chips on U.S. shores. But the second part of that policy is also about holding China's own chip development back. And in both those positions, what you see is uh, the European Union and European com countries, uh, companies even, really caught in the middle of that uh, as well. And if we look at one co company, in particular, one country in particular, ASML in the Netherlands. That's really a, a key uh, for what we're seeing about rising tensions between the European Union and the US when it comes to chip policy because ASML makes these machines called ultra, uh, extreme ultraviolet lithography machines. These are really required to print the most intricate parts of a chip and that's what's allowing uh, companies like Apple and others to be able to, to put the most advanced chips in their smartphones for example as well. Now this is the only company in the world able to do this and this is really key uh, if China wants to advance to the level that you've seen Taiwan and South Korea and chip manufacturing they need this machine. However since around 2018 under the presidency of Donald Trump you've seen pressure on the Netherlands uh, to not allow ASML to export that machine to China uh, and in 2019, they effectively uh, withdrew a license for ASML to, withdraw, to uh, send that machine to China, and they haven't been able to ship it since. And that's really a big reason why China hasn't been able to catch up with uh, the likes of TSMC in Taiwan and Samsung in South Korea when it comes to manufacturing the most advanced ships. But in both those cases, what you're seeing, uh, one is the U.S. competing with the EU for funding uh, in terms of attracting those companies, but secondly, also uh, in trying to hamper China's own progress, European companies are caught in the middle. 